43 minutes after the hour, we've probably all had run-ins with airport security, from long lines to sometimes confusing restrictions on what you can carry on to that screener who says, next time take your liquids out of your bag or we'll throw them away. American Morning's Chris Lawrence is at New York's LaGuardia Airport this morning. He's got the second part of our series on flyer frustration. And you're looking remarkably calm this morning, Chris. No frustration on your face. Because I'm not flying, John. That's the reason why. You know, but a few months ago, I was on a flight and I was going through security and I got one bottle of lotion confiscated because it wasn't in a plastic bag. And I, I got to admit, I just didn't get it. I asked the agent, I said, I understand the bag is supposed to limit the contents, but I only have one content. There's nothing to limit. Well, lotion got tossed anyway, and it got us thinking about other experiences that people have had going through the security lines. Travelers complain about long lines. Especially here in Atlanta, it's, it's crazy sometimes. Some about TSA agents' attitude. They can be very rude, and it makes a big difference when you travel. But the main question is, are the rules really keeping us safe? It just seems like there's a lack of common sense sometimes. When, you're, when they're looking at certain items. David Rogers can't understand why some gels and liquids get confiscated. I, I was carrying an unmarked bottle the other day and had some hair gel in it. And um, the woman didn't let me carry it because it was not marked. And she, uh, she confiscated the bottle even though it was the right size. He wonders why a label matters. Would the machine detect if it was anything bad? Please keep your boarding passes in here. The TSA insists there's a reason behind every rule. To them, it's not one hair gel. It's thousands of people in their bags. In fact, a new scanner addresses specific complaints from mothers and older passengers. If you're traveling, um, say, with a baby and you're, you have breast milk, or you're traveling with medications that exceed the three ounce limit, this basically just sniffs and reads the contents of the liquid and can tell if there's explosives. In Phoenix, the DSA is testing another scanner that uses electromagnetic waves to produce a 3D image. They say it takes 60 seconds, blurs faces, and is erased after you clear security. Would much prefer this to being pat down, just because it's less personal and less invasive. The TSA says it takes time to install new technology. Does they have to prove devices work before paying millions of dollars to buy them? Yeah, for example, that uh, wave machine in Phoenix costs well over $100,000, but it is now on its way to both LAX and JFK. As for my one bottle of lotion, yeah, TSA official says, yeah, they could have gone through, but it is the agent's discretion to say yes or no. And I got to say, although I didn't agree with his reasoning at the time, he was extremely polite the entire time. John? Well, that's positive, at least. But next time, put your single bottle of lotion in a bag. <laughs> Hey, hey, Chris, I know, I know, we, I learned my lesson. Are we ever going to get back to a time when we can bring liquids and gels back on planes? There, there may be that time. You know, they've got a new system called the Explosive Detection System, or EDS, and with it, you don't have to remove your liquids or your laptop because the system does sort of a virtual scan of the bag. Problem is, it is very expensive. It, it's probably not worth the price to just check carry-ons, but you may see it show up in some of the smaller airports where they can combine check luggage and carry on into one screening area. And, and, and what have you got coming up for us tomorrow? We went out and asked people, what are your biggest uh, headaches when flying? You know, lost luggage, canceled flights, uh, bad food on the planes. And we're going to bring in a travel expert to try to maybe ease you through some of those problems a little bit easier. All right, great. And my pet peeve is number 21 for takeoff on the runway. You know, don't, don't feed me, don't give me a drink, <laughs> just make me number one for takeoff. Chris, thanks for that. We'll see you again tomorrow. Yep. Karen?